from? We're on Spring Hill. The Sp Battle of Spring Hill. Tennessee. This is the cannon. Yeah, you, you, yeah. the more you elevate it, of course, the further it goes. I got my daughter and son-in-law here explaining to them how to use these things. These are one of the most feared things. This is the most feared thing than Calvary's the next feared thing to the infantry. Because like I say, this will shoot almost to the tree line there. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Wow. Hope you don't, you, don't, you don't get hit. You had like four or five of those ones? No, no more than that. They'll have, the, and here I bet they had about 10 of these lined up. And as what ha happens is, as you're marching this way, they're, they're having a barrage against the enemy as they're coming. So, so how do you prevent them from taking over your flanks? Do you have people on the flank to make sure that oh, no one takes over? Because that's that, yeah, that's what happens there. They got you have to protect your flank, so they have people on the flank side over there, so they don't they don't come around. Huh. That is... Yeah, we're at the battlefield of Spring Hill. I was trying to give out a little history lesson of it. This is where the oh shoot, I think this was the Confederates here, or the Union Union was here. Confederates were marching up to get them. Of course, you always take the high road. Whenever you're in battle, you always take the high road. It's not that well known of a place, but we'll go to Franklin next. This is where Lee was trying to take the war north because I can't think they're getting tired of getting a fighting in the south. And he wanted to take over a few things in the north, like provisions and, and trains, stuff like that, to help supply his army. After reading the sign, this field was just like it was during the battle. The Union soldiers had their batteries here, and then, it, and then that tree line was where the soldiers were when they attacked. So this is pretty much pretty close to what it looked like during the war. It's just right here. So they, everybody's remember. I was trying to remember the family here that. They fought on private property. They fought on people's farms. So, you know, it was a living farm at the time they, they fought. So after the war's over, of course, they bury the dead, get rid, rid of the, the horses, and then they go back to resuming their life of farming and try to act like nothing happened, which is kind of hard to do. We're at a plantation. I forgot the name. I'll get it later on, but this is one of the slave quarters there. As you can tell, it's just a basic structure. It's probably in the same condition it was 100 years ago. They didn't really give them much of anything to live in. It's a shame they had to be living in something like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like an antler. It does, doesn't it? Be like an like... This is the Ripa Villa Via property. This is the mansion we're at. We just saw one of the slave quarters. Now we're gonna go to the cemetery. You have the family cemetery, which is this one right here. Then you have the slave cemetery. Okay, be be nice in there. Wow. This is old. Don't touch any branches. Don't don't touch any branches. Don't touch any
here lies persons unknown removed from Haines Haven land reunited, reunited with reference at this site on the 10th day of November 1986 so that we had put all the slaves together like like you should be they should be together they should have some good place to to lay and rest so it's just somewhere out there unknown where no one knows anything about.